boys and girls, welcome to Benchart, I'm for Classic, and for today what I have in here it is a very requested game called Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So this is developed by Respawn Entertainment, the same developer behind Titanfall 2 and Apex Legends. So these guys are very good developing FPS games and good single player experience. Titanfall single player was very good, a very big surprise for many players, but I wasn't expecting that they could pull off a good Star Wars game. So this time, instead of going with Source Engine, they decided to go with Unreal Engine. For some reason, these guys seem to not enjoy uh, EA Frostbite's uh, engine, so they always come out with a different engine. So this is Unreal Engine 4, and actually it is working quite well. So let's start with the settings that I'm currently using to play the game. So I'm playing the game with uh, minimum settings, 720p, and the settings at the minimum possible. The minimum possible on this game it is the median settings. That is no low settings. And despite I'm not using dynamic resolution, that is because I prefer to manually manually adjust my uh, resolution behind the game. So 720p, you need to go to your hard disk drive, users, your username, app data, local, and then search for a folder called SW Game Saved Config. Windows No Editor, and you will find a, fo a file called Game User Settings or NI. Just scroll down the entire file, and you will find a thing called SG Resolution Quality. Switch from 100% or 100 to 50. This will enable the game to play at 50% resolution scaling. That is something that the dynamic resolution wasn't going that lower. Probably dynamic resolution was only working to 70 or 80 and not to 50, so you need to adjust to 50, just disable dynamic resolution in-game and then uh, put that value to 50 on the SG resolution quality, save the file and put the file to read-only or the game will overwrite it. So the game they required an E3, 8 gigs of RAM and a GeForce GTX 650 so I decided to test the game with these tweakable settings that I've made and I got an average of 31 frames per second with a 1% low of 21 and a maximum of 42. So basically the game will run pretty much between 20 to 40 frames per second. This is not an ideal experience, alright? But, you know, it is kind of playable. You know, I, I, I believe you can actually finish the game like this. I think it's fine. So yeah, you will counter a lot of times where the game will drop from 30 frames per second and unfortunately while traversing the game or the maps, the game will stutter a lot. This is because of the CPU. The CPU is fully under stress in this game and sometimes even bottlenecks the graphic card. So if you have a much better CPU than what we have in here, the game will feel more consistent but still I'm expecting the frame rate to be more or less the same. But at least the stuttering should be gone with a much better CPU and that is very important. Actually, the game, even at 50% of resolution scaling, it looks really good. This game comes with a TAA forced into the game. And the median settings, which are currently the lowest you can select in this game, looks really good. You still get shadows, uh, reflections, or puddle effects on the water, a lot of particles going on, shadows everywhere, depths of field on the cutscenes, so it feels like you are playing a game at the high settings but with a drop down resolution or a slightly blurred. So yeah, that's the experience that you can expect. So for me, I will mark this game as playable, but with a big warning for the performance because you will have stunt rings and you will have frame rates under 30 frames per second. So what is this game? Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, it is a single player experience third person. Uh, which is insane, in my opinion. It mixes up Dark Souls and Bloodborne and also mixes up traversal like uh, Tomb Raider, Uncharted events. There are a lot of mixtures they do with this game and also a little bit of, uh, I wouldn't say Metrovania, probably Metrovania have some influence into this game. A lot of exploration. So this game mixes all a lot of concepts from the today's video game industry but does it very, very well done. Probably this is one of the AAA titles that uh, EA Games should be very happy to release because all their latest AAA titles from EA Games have been very bad or not very good at all and this Star Wars it is actually amazing in my opinion and also there is no microtransactions, nothing like that also this game it is even available on Steam so amazing stuff I wasn't really expecting EA to pull this off and the game is it is also amazing. So the price for this game it costs 
obviously this is a full price for these type of games this is always a full price for pretty much all EA titles so it doesn't come as a surprise and anyway I fully recommend you to get this game because it's even at this price this is something that I largely recommend especially if you like uh, Dark Souls or imagine that you want to play Dark Souls but you feel that Dark Souls it is very hard this game it is far more accessible it's not that easy alright but still it is more easier than Dark Souls I mean for people that have trouble with Dark Souls probably this game it is for you and despite I don't really enjoy the Star Wars lore this game even for non Star Wars lovers this is completely amazing so guys that's all that I want to talk about Star Wars Fallen Order hope you did enjoy the video so far if you want to keep enjoying the rest of the video feel free to do it there is more gameplay to be had in this video and I do hope to see you soon goodbye problem. Gotta be one of the Zepho. Guess we're on the right track, huh, BD? Incoming!
Over here. 